scientists and the general public have been interested in black holes, a strange astronomical entity with a strong gravitational pull. These mysterious objects have a slight but significant impact on the environment. They are located just 2,000 light years distant. Spacetime is bent by them, delaying light in the process. These mysterious regions of spacetime are dynamic areas where gravity is so intense that even the laws of physics cannot hold them together. Black holes have gravitational forces so great that they distort spacetime and cause light to be delayed, but their effects are constrained by the size of space. The impact of black holes on the universe and our solar system is called into doubt by this revelation. The myth that a black hole can just wander the universe, consuming stars and galaxies, is frequently spread by sensationalism and popular culture rather than science. In actuality, black holes' gravitational pull does not last forever. Rather, it diminishes sharply with distance, meaning that even black holes that are relatively close to our solar system, like Gaia BH3, do not immediately pose a threat. To understand this, we must once more turn to history, namely the tale of Cygnus X1, the first black hole. The story starts not just with a discovery, but also with a bold wager made in the field of astrophysics in the late 1960s, a time of intense discussion and astronomical exploration among scientists. In 1964, a sounding rocket detected Cygnus X1 as a bright X-ray source in the night sky. The discovery sparked a bet between Stephen Hawking and Kip Thorne, who believed Cygnus X1 was a black hole, and Hawking B, who argued against it. This bet symbolized the scientific curiosity and competition that fuels many discoveries in science. The X-ray binary system includes a blue supergiant star and a stellar mass black hole. The black hole's gravitational pull pulls material away from its star, which spirals into it, and heats up to millions of degrees while emitting X-rays. Astronomers have studied the characteristics of this mysterious object using tools like the Uru satellite, which was the first space telescope to provide evidence that this object is a black hole and the first of its kind. Cygnus X1 is 7,000 light years away from Earth, but despite its massive mass and 33 solar masses, it remains a silent observer in space due to its distance from a star that could provide material for an accretion disk. This distance suggests a lack of X-ray emission and a quiet existence, unlike the dynamic environment around Cygnus X1. Cygnus X1 has taught us about black hole nature and behavior and serves as a crucial point of reference in the study of Gaia BH3. Gaia BH3, 2,000 light years away, is farther away but is more secure due to its passive characteristics and advanced understanding of black hole mechanics. The GIA telescope has emerged as a major player in space exploration, aiming to map stars with unprecedented accuracy. The huge black hole has entered the cosmic arena as a new participant. The closest black hole to Earth is called Gaia BH3. A mission to map over a billion stars has provided a clearer picture of our neighborhood in the galaxy than it has ever had. It was during this meticulous survey that the telescope discovered an anomaly, a star whose motion defied explanation by standard celestial mechanics. This seemingly invisible star suggested the presence of something massive hidden from view, and who the culprit is. Gia BH3 is a black hole that has never been detected before, that is located 2,000 light years away in the cosmic halo. Gaia BH3 a cosmic colossus with a mass of 33 solar masses is one of the galaxy's largest stellar mass black holes. Its placement in the galactic halo, home to older stars and globular clusters, suggests a distinct origin or evolution from galactic disk black holes. Unlike famous black holes that consume neighboring matter and spew X-rays, Gia BH3 is silent, thanks to its companion star orbiting it safely at a distance. It lacks typical black hole activity indicators, such as jets and X-ray emission, as it is too far away to break apart and form an accretion disk. The discovery of Gaia BH3 also offers insight into the mysterious process of black hole formation from metal-poor stars, an early generation in the universe's stellar history. Due to their low metal content, these stars are unable to synthesize heavy elements, which has a substantial impact on their life cycle and eventual demise. 
One such star orbiting Gaia BH3, known as Metal Poor, has been identified as essential to comprehending both the star's evolutionary trajectory and the nature of its massive companion black hole. For big stars, the end of the star usually means a supernova explosion, which signals the star's demise. For metal poor stars, on the other hand, the situation can be very different. Because there are less heavy components in the star, its opacity is reduced and it retains most of its mass, resulting in a higher core density. Researchers have discovered a direct collapse pathway in the companion of Gaia, BHI-3, which could lead to a larger black hole than typically found in metal-rich progenitors. These observations validate theoretical astrophysical models that suggest larger black holes are more likely to form in low-metal environments. By examining Gia BH3 and its stellar companion, they can explain the existence of supermassive black holes that formed quickly in the early universe, defying earlier models that required longer timescales and multiple mergers. The California Institute of Technology has also used advanced artificial intelligence to visualize flares from black holes in three dimensions, focusing on Sagittarius. This discovery links past star formation and death processes to current phenomena and helps fill gaps in our understanding of the distribution and density of black holes in the universe. The extraordinarily enormous black hole at the core of our galaxy, known as AAR, is observed to emit bright energetic flares several times a day in the vicinity of black holes. Even though these flares have been identified in the past, they have never before been seen in three dimensions. To address this, a team at the California Institute of Technology has created new computational visualization tools that use artificial intelligence techniques specifically tailored to astrophysical data. These tools are intended to address the particular issues related to black holes' intense gravitational fields. The application of a method called NERF, or Neural AAR Fields, which was first employed in computer graphics augmentation, NERF facilitates the conversion of two-dimensional photographs into three-dimensional scenes. Researchers at the Katie Ballman Institute have used artificial intelligence, AI, to recreate the three-dimensional trajectory of gas exploding out of a black hole. They used an enhanced NERF, modified for astronomy, to account for the expected behavior of the gas surrounding the black hole and the light curvature caused by it. This method is similar to taking multiple angles of a rotating object, allowing the AI to predict the structure of the flare over time based on how the gas would move. The team used a distinct data collection acquired with ALMA to observe an eruption at Sagittarius AAR in X-rays on April 11, 2017. The AI's ability to reconstruct the three-dimensional trajectory of gas exploding out of a black hole is crucial for studying celestial bodies in 3D and how the black hole would lens its light. Observed black holes, particularly those created from metal-poor stars, yield important information on the structure and history of the galaxy. By combining artificial intelligence with physics, this technical advance creates a precedent for astronomical investigations in the future, enabling a more thorough examination of celestial occurrences and opening the door to new discoveries. Thanks for watching this video.